Hello everyone. Now we will go for our next debugging challenge. And this debugging challenge is an extension of the previous debugging challenge itself. It means that debugging challenge 12, we will simply take that and extend that debugging challenge. Suppose in that debugging challenge 12, what we did. Suppose if I am running this particular program, I am giving the input 1 to 10 sales order number. Whenever I am double clicking onto any sales order number, the data is not appearing from VBAP table. We simply resolved that issue and it is perfectly fine. Now customer is saying, yes, I am able to see the output. Now I want column labels. I want column labels for these five columns. I want column labels on the secondary list. I want vertical lines. I want horizontal lines. It means into this particular output, we will add the column labels. We will go for horizontal line. We will go for vertical line. We all know very well for horizontal line, we need to go for Psi U line. For vertical line, we need to go for Psi V line. If you do not have knowledge of the same, no problem. You can simply refer the ABAP programming part 2 playlist. There we have the videos of column label. There you can understand Psi U line, Psi V line, how to give the column labels, etc. from those particular videos. Now, I will simply extend this particular debugging challenge. And now we will go for debugging challenge 13. This is the debugging challenge 13. Same to same code is there. I just added the code for Psi U line, Psi V line. I provided the labels at the basic list and at the secondary list. And same way, I will keep this, I will keep this code into the description of this particular video. I will keep this code at the shared drive path also. We have error code and solution code. You can simply take it from there. Now we will check, we will see the output of this program and we will see which thing is not working and what is the solution for the same. Remember, whenever you will copy paste this code and try please create the text symbol because I, as I cannot provide you the text symbol. Suppose if I will go for text hyphen 000, text hyphen 000 is sales document. So what you can do so that you should, you will, you will not get confused. So please create this text symbol or you can provide the hard coded labels is totally your wish. So based upon the column names, please, please provide the column labels. Now I am running this particular debugging challenge. I am giving the input 1 to 10. I am executing. Now whenever we will see the output, now the column labels are coming. Horizontal lines are there. Vertical lines are there. Suppose I am clicking on to any sales document number. Now you can see Column labels are coming, horizontal, vertical lines are coming, but now the output is not coming. Previously, it was working fine, but now we added the column label, horizontal line, vertical line, and secondary list is again not working. Now here, if we know debugging, we can easily find the solution in a quick manner. Yes. Here debugging will play a vital role because de with the help of debugging in a fraction of seconds itself, we can come on to the conclusion that what happened to this particular output. So I will put a breakpoint as a part of at line selection. This is at line selection. I will put a breakpoint. I'm running this particular program. Suppose I am giving sales document number 1 to 10, I am executing. Suppose I am clicking on to sales order number 5. Now whenever I am clicking on to sales order number 5, at line selection event triggered. Now you can see this system variable psi l i s e l will give us the contents of the selected line. And by this itself, we can predict very easily what happened. Yes, 
if I double click on to this system variable, previously in debugging challenge 12, we have five date, time, username and document category. Now we are getting vertical lines. Now we are getting vertical line. And this is true also because we added the logic. When I double click here, we have vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. So this is also considered as the contents of the selected line. That's why we are getting a this. We are getting a vertical line here. If I will go for debugging challenge 12 and show you, there was no vertical line there. If this is the debugging challenge 12, if I will put a breakpoint, I'm running this particular program. I'm giving one to 10. If I'm executing, if I double click, there's no vertical line there because there was no, we have, there's no logic for the vertical line there. Now, if I will show you Sai Liesel, Sai L I S C L, you can see there is no vertical line. Now, now we are passing this. Now, if I will come on to our debugging challenge, we are taking 0 to 10 from this system variable. If we take 0 to 10 from this system variable, you can see vertical line is coming and then 5 is coming. This one, we are passing it to this function module. Now we will see is this function module convert this to 905. We will see. I am running this function module and you can see vertical line 5 is vertical line 5 only. It is not converted to 905. Now if I will come on to this particular query, VBELN is equal to vertical line 5. Is there any entry into VB AP table for vertical line sales order number 5? No. The entry is for 5905. Now this query is not giving any result size of RC4 and there is no output because we added a vertical line. Yes. And because of that, everything hampered. Yes. Now, what is the solution for the same? A good programmer before writing the logic, if it is possible in the debugging mode, the person will check the solution. Then person will go ahead with the coding part. Suppose if we will see here now, 0 to 10 position is a vertical line 5. We want 5. We want 5. We do not want vertical line. It means we need to go for position starting from 1 rather than 0. Because now on the 0th position, we have a vertical line. But we want 5. 5 starts from which position? First position. So I will check in the debugging mode. Suppose rather than 0 to 10, if we will go for 1 to 10, are we getting 5? Yes, we are getting 5. It means rather than 0 to 10, we need to go for 1 to 10. And this is the case. If we don't know debugging, how I can come on to the conclusion that because of this vertical line, the position changed. Yes. Now I will go for the respective code changes and we will see the output. Now I am going for 1 to 10. I am going for 1 to 10. And in the code, I am going for 1 to 10. So many people sent me the code in last few months that after adding this column labels, their output is not coming. So it's good that you can refer this video simply and resolve the doubt by your own itself. Now I'm just running this particular program. Now I'm giving the sales order number one to 10. I'm double clicking onto any sales document number. Now, if we will go for Sai Liesel 1 to 10, now it's, it is 4, it is 4. Now, whenever 4 will go to this function module, now it is 9, 0, 4. Everything is perfectly fine. Now, we are fetching the data from this VBAP table based upon this 9, 0, 4. And yes, it is perfectly fine. Now, you can see Sai sub RC 0. In LTVBAP internal table, we have the data. 
and this is the expected result. So what is the summary of this particular video? This video is an extension of the previous debugging challenge. We received a requirement from the customer that we need to add column label, horizontal line, vertical lines, at the basic list and secondary list. We have written the logic for the same. After that, what happened? Our secondary list is not working. We checked in the debugging mode that whenever we are going for side diesel, it is taking the vertical lines also into consideration. And that is true because it is giving us the contents of the selected record. So it is taking vertical lines also into consideration. And because of that, what happened? Rather than zero, the sales order number position starts from one. So we simply change the position here. We simply change the position in the query and we are able to see the output. One thing, whenever you will copy this code from the description or from the debugging challenge folder, please, please create the text symbols. Otherwise, you will get confused because labels will not be visible to you. So that's it into this particular debugging challenge. Thank you.